Good day. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Douglas Harder, and in this sequence of topics, you are going to receive an introduction to vectors. For this first introduction, we're simply going to welcome you to this primer and give you an overview of what you expect to see. We will go through a list of the topics that you will be covering and then I will emphasize the need for you to go through the online notes and reinforce your learning through actually doing exercises. So in this primer, you're going to see a sequence of topics which will allow you to be exposed to information about two-dimensional vectors, and then we're going to look at three-dimensional vectors. I understand that there are some jurisdictions where vectors are not even covered in secondary school, and therefore I'm going to assume zero knowledge on your part. We're going to start by scratch, from scratch, giving the individual definitions, and then step by step going through the various operations and characteristics of these objects. By the end of this sequence of topics within this primer, you should be quite familiar with the vectors that are two and three dimensional, how to manipulate them, some of their properties. What we're not going to see in this course are matrices. Linear operators and mappings, that is matrices, will be part of your first year linear algebra course. All right. So the next two sections are going to cover first two-dimensional and then three-dimensional vectors. And in each case, we will cover what such a vector is. We will then describe the length of a vector, or the, what we're going to call the two-norm of a vector. We will then describe unit vectors, and then look at what is vector equality. When are two such objects equal? We will then look at how we can add two vectors together and how we can multiply a vector by a scalar or a real number. We're then going to look at the differences between two vectors and how we can use this to define the distance between vectors. We will then describe normalizing vectors, that is converting them so that their length is equal to one. And then we will discuss orthogonal vectors or vectors that are at right angles to each other. We will then describe the inner product. And in secondary school, you may have learned this as the dot product. However, for the purposes of this course and others, you will call this now the inner product. And then we're going to see the relationship between the two norm and the inner product. And then we will look at the relationship between orthogonal vectors and the inner product. Finally, we will describe either the line or plane of all vectors that are orthogonal or at right angles to a given vector. Now, what's going to be really cool, hopefully, is that once you get through the topics on two-dimensional vectors, you're then going to enter the section on three-dimensional vectors. And yet you're going to see that everything is more or less the same. It's just a slightly def different definition of what the actual vector is, but all the other properties will be more or less similar. This is something that's very important, because if the characteristics are more or less the same, is it not worth studying the, the similarities as opposed to the differences? So in this course, you're going to see that there are many other collections of objects beyond just two and three dimensional vectors that have all the properties that you're going to be introduced to in this primer on vectors. Indeed, you will be introduced to something called an abstract vector space, which just looks at what are the fundamental properties that are necessary to have the desirable characteristics of vectors. Then, for three-dimensional vectors, we are going to discuss a few additional topics. We will then look at the applications of vectors in physics. We will describe the cross product, which is 
only relevant to three-dimensional vectors, and then we'll describe the right-hand rule, all of which are applied in physics and related topics. Now, on the Nanotechnology Engineering 112 course website, there is a relevant document. It is called a Primer on Vectors. You should download this primer, print it out, or scan it into your whichever electronic media you use, and go through that primer while you are watching the videos. The section numbers are correlated, so when you're watching uh, topic 2.6, you can follow along in the primer in section 2.6. At the end of each of these sections in the primer are questions with some answers which you can attempt to make sure you understand this course material. If you do not do, you will not remember. Please do these questions. Thus, in this introduction, I welcome you to this Primer on Vectors. You now have seen that we will be learning about two- and three-dimensional vectors. You'll learn what they are and how to calculate their length. You'll be able to add vectors and multiply them by real numbers. We will look at vectors that are at right angles to each other, and then we will introduce the inner product and see how the inner product is associated with the length of the vectors and how it is associated with right angles. There's a few other topics for three-dimensional vectors, and I've encouraged you to read the corresponding primer, which you can download from the NE112 website in the references. Here are some references, acknowledgments, the colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers!